Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video a series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street I was in Iceland today is anyone actually surprised at that anymore why you ask because I'm still looking for those Carolina Reaper pies I've heard from some of you in the comment section that they really aren't that hot and they really aren't that nice but I've not been able to get them for so long now They've literally become the holy grail to me. Now, what I did find, however, mouth's gone already. Probably shouldn't film these when I'm hungry, should I? What I did find in there was two street fries meals, side dishes, I would say, by McCain. So, street fry, street files, street fries, because they're both edgy and relevant um basically it's a like i said it's a ready meal and um there's this flavor which is chicken chicken cheese and bacon which is why i'm absolutely sold love loaded fries love cheese and bacon love them both combined together and there's another flavor which i also have but even i'm not such a fat bastard i would eat them both in the same video and that is barbecue beef to put on your fries now did mccain make or introduce or create invent I'll get there by the end. Um, the micro fry, because I remember when that first came out and what a big deal it was. Because up to that point, you could only fry fries. You know what I mean, like pan fry or deep fry, which we used to get all these adverts on TV, didn't we, back in the day about what to do. I remember them still as an adult. Um, what to do if there's a chip pan fire? Don't throw water on it. Look them up. They're all on YouTube. Um, and yeah, then obviously um, oven fries then kicked in, but microwavable fries kicked in the mid 80s, early to mid 80s. And I remember what a big deal they were. I remember what a big deal when we got our first microwave was. I remember all the people on TV do mongering about it, saying it's going to mutate everyone in your house because the levels of radiation they're putting out are incredibly insane. And then places like, uh, or programs like um, Tomorrow's World showed them they were wrong. Who remembers microwave know-how? The book. Uh, anyway, this is not a video about microwaves. But, long story short, McCain, I believe, invented the micro fry. Now, this is both oven or micro fry. Now, I always say to get the best out of these meals, you have to cook them in the oven. But, I thought for this episode, I would play devil's advocate and see what happens when we do this purely in the microwave. Because, it is micro fries. Now, what are well let's see what the instructions instructions ingredients are basically um fries plus cheese and bacon sauce plus garnish i'm guessing that's all the bit on the top that looks like a microwavable pizza anyway look at the uh, the traffic lights look at the traffic lights um fat red saturated fat red uh sugars green there you go, at least you can eat it if you are diabetic. Uh, and then, I can't even read what the end one is, but it's red. So it's red right across the board. Look, microwave and or in the oven. And the cooking instructions are simple. Place both objects, if you're going to do it in the microwave, um, place both, both objects in the microwave next to each other. I don't know how it comes out of this. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Next to each other, uh, and then 900 watts, seven minutes, uh, sorry, six minutes, um, 800 watts, um, five minutes, or seven, sorry, seven minutes. Go up in the other direction, Dave, other direction. And then pussy ass microwave, look, we've got seven and a half minutes. And then let your sauce cool, and then pour on said fries, and then add garnish. Now, I'm not gonna film the microwavable bit, mainly because there's a bloke downstairs repairing the boiler, and I don't want him to think like, why is that man talking to his microwave while holding a phone up? Clearly this household is insane, I should probably leave. Right. Oh no, we're stuck on the bottom. I want to see what they look like. Suddenly I'm very, very, very disappointed. What is the weight on these bad boys? It's only 300 grams. The, the amount of fries, 
and they are proper, proper fries. They're not like microwavable chips, which is what I meant to go with when I said, who remembers, you know, when McCain introduced microwavable chips? But yeah, they're proper skinny fries and stuff like that. The sauce bag comes in a little cardboard. Hey, you can mic them. It comes in a little cardboard sachet, as do the fries. So you can mic them separately. Uh, and then you've got like a little garnish bag that I really, for the life of me, don't know what's in there. I'm sorry, I've got to. Right, there are your fries. See, fries, we all know what fries are like. Then you get, your sauce is just frozen solidly. Yep, it smells of cheese. Solidly in this cardboard dish, I quite like that. How it will go when we mic it for seven and a half minutes, I don't know. This is what scares me. I think it's onion, some sort of herb, of which I have no idea. Anyway, let's go and bang these bad boys in the microwave for, uh, I, I can obviously prepare it up here. Why am I standing up? Let's go and bang them. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Uh, let's go and bang these bad boys in the microwave for seven and a half minutes, and then I'm going to dress them in the cardboard and, and, add, and add this. Yeah, not really sure about that. Anyway, I can prepare it in the room so Boiler Repairman doesn't think I'm a weirdo. See you in seven and a half minutes, I guess. Well, the good news, for me at least, is Boiler Repairman's gone. So not only is the house now toasty warm, I can talk to my appliances because they like it. Honestly, it's like talking to your plants, but only in appliance form. Really not sure. Like seven and a half minutes? Yeah, yeah. Are you surprised? The, the chips, Bublé. You don't eat potato, apart from McDonald's hash browns. Yeah, seven and a half minutes, uh, which I believe is round about there. Right. Oh, I was going to say that's pretty much seven and a half minutes, but there you go. But why no ping? Right. First of all, obviously they're pre-cooked. Um, they smell very, 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 very potatoey. This is the bit I'm a little bit in two minds about. I could hear it bubbling away through the actual microwave. Sorry, my mouth's gone. I have to do this one-handed. I suck at doing these things one-handed. Oh well, two tears in a bucket. Look at that. See, the problem is, immediately the problem is I'm burning my hand. But I know it's cheap food. This was like 150 in something. That smells so cheesy though. Um, but don't stimp on the sauce. I'll pay more money. I really will. Look, it's got cheese skin. That's the best bit. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, I'll pay more money. Don't, ch uh, you know, stimp on the fries. Give me a second. I'm going to get a spoon. In case you're wondering what the garnish looks like, it's an absolute pain in the ass to get out of the bag because it's so wet. But all I can smell right now is not, it's not cheese, not bacon, not even fries. It's onion. To be wet, to be fair, there are worse things to smell. So here we go. Now, one thing I wanted to quickly mention, because I forgot to mention it at the start of this video, is when I said this was microwavable, um, basically I meant the whole thing um, because the, the cheese sauce, uh, if you were doing the fries in an oven, has to be microwaved anyway. So there's, there's no way of doing it in the oven, according to the instructions on the back of the packet. So. Let's give this bad boy a try. I have to say, as I just said, it smells very, very oniony. Points for the fact that it comes in all the packaging out of the, uh, you know, the cardboard packaging, out of the pa plastic packaging, to just do it straight in the microwave. I don't know how that would work for the oven, but it looks all right. Substantial weight. Uh, I was going to say fire extinguisher of choice, but this is not going to be hot. Is Waitrose lemonade surprisingly zesty? Because I've never tried Waitrose lemonade and sometimes I like to go to Waitrose so I can come out of Waitrose, get out of my car, walk into my house with a Waitrose carry bag and everyone thinks I'm a classy rich motherfucker. Right, anyway, so let's give this bad boy a try. I'm going to get a fry from the outside first with no sauce on it because obviously I don't expect these to be crispy because they were done in the microwave. They're obviously pre-cooked. What do I know? And to be fair, they are pretty, pretty crispy. Now, I'm starting to get a smell of 
other than just onion now, but let's get a decent bit of um, cheese sauce on there. I think that's uh, gonna do it. And two tears in a bucket. Oh, it smell. Now I can smell cheese and it smells phenomenal. Mmm. I'm a simple man, and you could argue how difficult is it to fuck up cheese and bacon. That's fantastic. For what you can argue is, cheap, you know, ultimately a very cheap junk um, ready meal, or I would say side dish. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. The sauce is really, really cheesy. It tastes like real cheese as well. The bacon's really, really, really nice. It's actually little crispy bits of bacon, which is surprising. And you do get the taste of onion on the top which is really really nice i'm quite surprised how nice this is would i say it's as nice as um iceland's tgi friday's um warrior fries possibly not because that's got a little bit of a kick this is just cheese and bacon but get some of that on there it is very nice it's very nice it's not gourmet it's not going to change your life but sometimes why does everything have to be classy Mmm. That cheese sauce is phenomenal. I don't know what, you know, concentrate of it, or percentage of it, I should say, is proper, proper cheese. You know, like when you buy cheese sauces for lasagna and stuff like that. But it, it, but it certainly tastes um, very, very, very cheesy. Anyway, palate cleanse. And that's very, very lemony. Sorry, Windy Pops. I think we have a new winner in the lemonade factor as well. But this, seriously, there is a bit more cheese sauce than I was, you know, thinking there would be. I like a little bit worried it was going to be a bit stimping out and I was going to run out of it before the fries, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Mmm. You can't see it because it's hidden away in the cheese sauce but there are you know they're very small but there are there was a there was a lot of bacon in there I've got a proper hit of bacon in that one but this is absolutely phenomenal um honestly get your ass to Iceland if you've not tried their um TGI warrior fries try them first but these um McCain street fries um because they're edgy um they're really and relevant they're really, really nice, and I do recommend. I think I'm going to have to do, maybe not next week. Um, I don't know. Um, I should probably, because I'm running out of fruit room in my freezer. But um, I'm going to have to do the uh, barbecue beef street fries, because I hear they're also edgy and relevant. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. I, th I haven't seen these before. I'm guessing they're brand new. But have you had them? Have you tried them? Have you tried both flavours? I'd love to know. Sorry, stealth windy pops. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.